Hi guys, it's Legionero back with another tutorial. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this cute pencil case. All, right. all you're going to need are a few scrap fabric pieces and some interfacing and a zipper and you'll be able to put this baby together. Inside, I have some lead pencils because I don't use regular pencils. I use lead pencils and they fit in here nicely. I also had some highlighters and different pens in here. So it's a nice size and it'll fit um, different types of writing utensils that you may use. So let's get started on making this really cute, simple and easy pencil case. All right, for this pencil case, you're going to need two pieces for your main fabric, two pieces for your lining fabric, and two pieces of woven interfacing. And you're also going to need an eight inch zipper. Your lining, your main fabric, and your interfacing should be cut nine inches by five inches. So go ahead and fuse your woven interfacing to your two main pieces. So now working with one main piece and one lining piece and your zipper, grab you some wonder clips or some pins. Take your main piece, lay your zipper face down, the zipper pull facing down. I like to just take a clip to hold it in place. Then take your lining piece, place it on top with um, the right side facing down. And pin or clip all three together. And you're going to take it to the sewing machine and you're going to sew down this edge with a zipper foot. All right, once you have those two sides sewn to one side of the zipper, open it up and then place them with the wrong sides facing. So now your zipper is facing up. So what you wanna do, take this to your ironing board and give it a good press. And then you're going to top stitch down this edge. After you top stitch, go ahead and grab your other two pieces. Place the main piece with the right side facing down. So you have right sides facing and your zipper pull is facing up. Grab a pin or a clip to hold it in place. And then take your lining piece and place that with right sides facing with the other piece of lining. Pin or clip it in place. Take it to the sewing machine. Sew down this edge just like you did with the previous side. Once you finish sewing, go ahead and top stitch that side as well. Now that you have both your main piece and your lining piece attached to your zipper, unzip your zipper about halfway and you're going to place it with right sides facing so your main pieces are right sides facing and your lining pieces are right sides facing. All right, so I like to make sure that my edges are lined up nice and neat. I'm going to put a clip and I'm going to do the other side the same way. Right, so you're going to clip all the way around and then the lining you're going to leave about a four to five inch opening because you need that opening to turn this to the right side. That's why it's important to make sure that you unzip your zipper. Right, so pin or clip all the way around and leave an opening in the lining. 
take this to the sewing machine you're going to start at one pin sew all the way around and stop at the other with your opening all right now that you have sewn all the way around and you left your opening in the lining now you can leave this flat if you want a flat case but I don't want a flat case I want one that has like a square bottom so what I'm going to do I'm going to um, show you how to make your corners square so what you do reach your hand through the opening in your lining and if you need to unzip your zipper some more you can do that right so you're going to take one corner and my hand I have my middle finger in this corner here all right so what I'm going to do just kind of open up the seam allowance a little bit and I'm going to line up the seam allowances on both sides so it's kind of like you're making a triangle right and what I want to do I want my bottom to be about an inch so I'm just using my board here to measure an inch and I'm going to sew across here one inch right if you need to you can take a clip to hold it in place also you can also use a marking pen or a chalk roller to mark your one inch once you have sewn across your one inch you can take your scissors and you can trim this down don't clip your stitching right to make that nice and neat and do that for the other three corners so your other main corner and your two lining corners now that you have all your corners sewn and trimmed now what you want to do is you want to use the opening that you left in the lining and turn this to the right side Poke out your corners. All right, once you have everything turned to the right side, go ahead and you're going to close up the opening that you left in the lining. So your seam allowance should go to the inside, so you just use that as your guide. And you can pin or clip this in place, take it to the sewing machine, and just sew really close to the edge. All right, now you can go ahead and place your lining on the inside of your bag. And now you have a really cute little pencil case and like I said you don't have to do your corners that's up to you and also if you want to do your corners you can make this longer than nine inches if you want to so let's say 10 by 5 or 11 by 5 it's up to you I usually use lead pencils so this is perfect for fitting my lead pencils all right guys so that is it you have now have a really cute pencil case and on the inside I used a, a houndstooth black and white fabric so that really is cute you open it up and you get a nice surprise because it's a different fabric I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this video click the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell to be notified when I post new videos I'll see you in the next tutorial